And hey guys, it's me, Tuck. Welcome back to some more Mario Party 9. In the last episode, we did Boo's Horror Manor, I think. I can't believe I forgot the name. Um, I think it is Manor, though. It, is, it involves a mansion. Anyways, we're going to continue onward in the fourth part of Solo Mode and uh, take on the next area. Which is... Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Blooper Beach. This looks incredible. I have never seen this on, like, the TV, but I have seen a couple of, uh, a, a couple of times, you know. It looks really awesome, though. I cannot wait. Okay. Watching these mini stars is like taking a tiny vacation. Bowser's lost it. Why is he so fascinated about it? Oh, it's full, it's a full party! Yeah, and Waluigi looks like he's <laughs> trying to trample Toad. Look at this. This looks terrible. Shy Guy's with us, though. He seems, well, it's like Shy Guy's beach all over again, or whatever. It would make sense that he would be the opponent here. There's Birdo. Oh, God. This is going to be one terrible mess. I can already tell. He'll get us for this. Because we're that good. Blooper Beach. I have a feeling this is going to be my favorite place. Okay, let's see how big his minions are compared to him now. Come on. They are way too freaking big! This is crazy. Cheap Cheap and Blooper, listen up. This should go swimmingly. <laughs> oh my god. The highest grade minions, of course, because these two are the boss. Obviously. Oh my god, Blooper Beach looks freaking awesome! I cannot wait. The sea is so beautiful. This friggin' area is so friggin' amazing, god. With all the mini stars scattered around, yep. I knew there was something out like that. He heard Bowser's minions are in the water. I can't swim at all. How good are you all at swimming? <laughs> I am. I taught myself how to swim, actually, um, because of how much I was at public pools from like trips when I was in elementary school, and it was it was a fun thing teaching myself. I mean, you know, that is a good conversation to bring up. Do you know how to swim? I don't really know. But on Blooper Beach, you will trawl the tropics for many stars as you make your way towards the goal. I guess I could read this part since it's kind of explaining the area. In the first half of the stage, you'll meet dolphins who will give you many stars and sushis who will take them away. In the second half of the game, landing on an event space will cause the Hucket Crab Ship to fire its cannons. Every time this happens, many stars will become Z many Zetars and vice versa, which can really change the game. That's why Blooper Beach is so far back here, because there's so much going on that could either help you or screw you. Try your best to do recover all the many stars in Blooper Beach, yeah. I kind of was a little late there. <laughs> Oops. Alright. There's the typical fort and, of course, the end gate. And now we're going to decide the turn order after all of that message text thingamabob things. I don't know. We're first, while we second, Birdo's third, and Shy Guy is fourth. I don't, I still don't see Shy Guy as an enemy. I really don't. He does not look like the Bowser minion type. And there's Sushi. No, no, not Sushi. That's the other thing. This is a dolphin. Wow, I know my sea creatures. So if I get, um, if I get a six. I'll get a lot of stars, pretty much. Six. Come on. Ah, oh, man, it's not working this time. Every time we move, dolphin moves. And he only moves two spaces, so one of these freaks is gonna get him. I hope Shy Guy doesn't get him. Come on, Birdo, get a big number on your turn. I just yawned. It's it's not even late. I kind of woke up from taking a power nap. 
So, yes, I take power naps. Don't diss. Mine was pretty amazing. So, I woke up and I was just like, I feel like recording. So, <laughs> here I am. Recording right now. I hope Shy Guy gets one. Come on, Shy Guy. Get a one. Someone start a minigame. He's still a pretty lengthy ways away. You would get the highest freaking number possible. I like our boat, by the way. It kind of reminds me... It's five? Jeez. It kind of reminds me of a Dory. You know the Mario character Dory? Where is Dory, anyways? He has not been in the game for so long. Oh, here's Sushi. Great. How close is he? Okay, Sushi is behind us. He moves four spaces at a time. So if I get a one, I lose nothing. Okay. What do I get? A six. Good. The farthest possible. And we get a dust block. We need a mini game, man. I need some stars. Shy Guy's already got eight because of friggin' sushi. Or not sushi. I keep. Uh, am I seriously gonna have these two mixed up the entire time? I think I will. But we got the mini game that I wanted. Sweet. And I get to pick. We've already done peak precision. Let's do something new. Did we do loggerhead? Yeah, we did. Let's do Thwomper Room. This is the only new one in here. I'm surprised I remember all the mini games that I've done because I have played off, off, you know, the clock, as some Davy Usher would say. Um. Anyways, Thwomper Room. Avoid the thwomps and be the last player standing. This is the opposite reverse mini game mode. Hold the remote sideways. Press the control pad to move and two to jump. I'm starting to wonder if even sleep, like, recording after waking up from a power nap is a good idea. I hate this mini game sometimes. This is this reminds me of a situation I was in in the past. Um, yeah, this. I got freaking, and conveniently it's those two again. I got Waluigi and Birdo sandwiched and died. Nope, I'm not dying to Shy Guy. There you go, kill yourself. Please and thank you. But I, I, I got like, I was jumping, and it was Waluigi and Birdo below me, and I couldn't land on the floor, so I was jumping up really high, and then the thwomp came down, and boom. I died, but they, they were, you know, okay, because they ran away. So, how far does Sushi go? The first half? I take it? Um... He's... Yeah, I would go down too, or else I'd get land on an unlucky space. Although I'm pretty sure 3 was the highest thing in that warp pot, probably, but still. I think Blooper Beach is actually the shortest... Well, cl a pretty short one. It's not the shortest. I keep forgetting about this one stage we haven't been to yet. But, um, Blooper Beach, I think, is really short. I didn't really look at the map, though. But, you know, the fort is, like, right there, so... Not a lot of time to, you know, rack up some points. Especially considering that Shy Guy's getting, like, every single five-star and crap, and not. he's just getting the goods, pretty much. The goods is what he's getting. I'm gonna have to rely on probably like gift mini games. And Sushi's catching up. Oh, you would use that. You got a three. Birdo really needs to get a low number because I want that captain's bonus. I sound like I'm intensely playing this game. It's like go hard or go home Mario Party for me, apparently. Which it seriously is. I am a hardcore Mario Partier. Go hard or go home. But, um, awkward moment aside, player conveyor. Navigate the conveyor belts to get the, to the goal in the center. Once you get on a conveyor belt, you can't get off until you reach its end. 
Hold the remote sideways and press the control pad to move. <clears throat> Had a very slight voice crack there. Start. Okay, I always look around. I never really do anything on this mini game. Um, well, I'm, I'm kind of just going crazy right now. Um, crap. Oh, I saw Shy Guy got there already. Holy crap! Okay. I have a feeling that where Waluigi's going is the key. Okay. Let me do this. Oh, I see what I need to do. Get in the warp pot. Is this it? Oh, wrong warp pot. Figures. Okay. If that's the case, I need to go on this puppy. Move Birdo. Yeah, and then I need to do this. And then go up here, and then here I am. Shy Guy's kicking butt and taking names. This is crazy ridiculous. Oh, it's showing the path now. After so long, it shows you the path? That's pretty good, actually. Imagine that in like when it's like four people still playing and they haven't figured it out yet. Because that took me a while, but then again I just woke up from a power nap and usually when it comes to mazes like that I usually don't even notice the path there like immediately. It takes me a really long time because I'm kind of just herp derping. Not really looking for a specific path. Get a one please. I hate you Bardo. Anyways, it's boss battle time. And this time we'll be playing against Cheap Cheap. Um, I have played this mini game before, so, you know, hopefully I can do good here. Uh, however, I have not done the blooper one, which will be a whole different story in the next part. Grab shells and fire them at Cheap Cheap as fast as you can while avoiding his attacks. Hold the Wii Remote sideways, tilt it in the direction you want your character to move, swim into a shell to pick it up, and press the 2 button to throw it. And that's all she wrote. Now we just gotta play the minigame and try to hopefully get first place. This is a pretty good minigame. Like, I like this boss battle out of, you know, the wide variety of boss battles. Okay. And usually, um, Shy Guy and Kamek tend to just nonchalantly play these boss battle minigames like it's nothing, so... Maybe if I can guarantee that Shy Guy gets last, um, which it's happening right now. Let me kind of just push him out of the way, like ensure that he misses. Because I'm pretty set, but then again I always have to make sure while we are uh, frig. Oh, don't take away my friggin' shell, douche. Oh, you idiots. Please don't be a Princess Peach here right now. Please do not be a Princess Peach. Oh, Lord. I kind of want to get that final shot. Let's do it. Yeah, son. Finish. We got the bonus. And Chaga got last, so that's really good. Usually, um... Shaka or Kamek crashes and burns when it comes to boss mini games. So this is good. That, however, wasn't. I just realized that they both got seven and Birdo got the same exact amount as me. Imagine if I had the captain bonus. I would have kicked butt right there and got a buttload of mini stars. But oh well. There's always the next part, which I hopefully can do really good on. Because I know in this final part, a lot can happen. Like, a lot. It's going to be hectic, guys. And uh, that's going to be in the next part. So, thanks to you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next video.